three cases of HIV being cured have been reported to date. All three involved men with HIV and either leukemia or lymphoma. The men received transplants of stem cells from adult donors to treat their cancers. A woman of mixed race appears to be the first woman ever to be cured of HIV. Using a new transplant method involving umbilical cord blood that opens up the possibility of curing more people of diverse racial backgrounds than was previously possible. Cord blood is more widely available than the adult stem cells used in the bone marrow transplants that cured the previous patients, and it does not need to be matched as closely to the recipient. Most donors in registries are of Caucasian origin, so allowing for only a partial match has the potential to cure dozens of Americans who have both HIV and cancer each year. The stem cell donors all carry two copies of a mutation, CCR5 Delta 32, that confers resistance to HIV. CCR5 is a receptor that HIV uses to infect cells. But very few people carry two copies of CCR5 Delta 32, limiting the chances of finding a compatible donor, particularly for non-white patients. Researchers used a modified approach to try to cure HIV. Their patient was a middle-aged woman who self-identified as mixed race and had both HIV and fast-progressing or acute leukemia. Because of the difficulty in finding a compatible adult donor, the transplant included stem cells from banked umbilical cord blood. Umbilical cord blood stem cells don't need as close a match for successful transplant as adult stem cells. If successful, this approach could expand the pool of CCR5 Delta 32 stem cells available to those living with HIV. The researchers obtained cord blood stem cells with two CCR5 Delta 32 mutations that were a partial match for the patient. A challenge with transplanting cord blood stem cells is that it takes time for the cells to engraft in the body. So, the researchers infused the cord blood cells alongside stem cells from a relative of the patient. These did not carry the CCR5 Delta 32 mutation, but were partially compatible with the patient. In this type of transplant, the adult stem cells engraft quickly, but temporarily. This allows them to provide some immune function until the cord blood cells have a chance to take over. As expected, the relative stem cells engrafted quickly within two weeks of transplant. But by 14 weeks after transplant, the cord blood cells had completely taken over. A major risk associated with stem cell transplants is graft versus host disease when transplanted immune cells attack the recipient's body. But cord blood cells are less likely to do so, and in this case, the patient did not develop graft versus host disease. The patient's leukemia remains in remission more than five years after the transplant. Before the transplant, she controlled her HIV infection with antiretroviral drugs, but some HIV genetic material was still detectable. After transplant, no HIV DNA or RNA were detected. By a year after the transplant, she no longer had antibodies against HIV which suggests HIV was no longer replicating in her body. Also, after the transplant, the stem cells in her blood resisted infection by various HIV strains in the lab. About three years after the transplant, the patient stopped antiretroviral therapy. At the time, the study results were written 18 months after stopping treatment. The patient remained free of HIV infection. The researchers say she has now remained free of infection for nearly 30 months. These results suggest that the cord blood stem cell transplant may have cured the patient of HIV. This would make her one of such patients and the first woman to be so cured. Stem cell transplant remains a complex and risky procedure. It is only considered in people who need one to treat a life-threatening condition such as leukemia not to treat HIV alone. Even so, in people with HIV who do need a transplant, using cord blood stem cells could expand access to this treatment. It's exceedingly rare for persons of color or diverse race to find a sufficiently matched, unrelated adult donor. 
using cord blood cells broadens the opportunities for people of diverse ancestry who are living with HIV and require a transplant for other diseases to attain cures. Researchers announced that the new approach holds the potential for curing more people of racially diverse backgrounds. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for there's more to come.